Hey guys, I'm going to take a couple seconds here and show you how to use chronometer. So it always starts on this main screen with the calories consumed, burned, and balance. I never like to leave it on the screen because we don't really ever use the consumed unless um, you are, I mean, obviously tracking your calories, but we don't really use this screen because the burned, um, you'd have to connect a like Fitbit or some other smartwatch or smart device. Um, and then it really isn't always accurate either. Um, and so when I calculate your calories, they're always custom based on your, your body. So I would never pay attention to the burned um, and the balance. So I like to scroll over one and keep it on the screen where it has your energy, which is your total calories that I've calculated for you, your protein, which is the grams, the carbohydrates and the fat grams as well. And this way you can see your percentage as you go through the motions. So when we add um, everything in, you click the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and you can literally click add food. Um, once you use it several times, you'll have an auto populated list of your favorite items that shows up. Um, but as you are just starting out, you can search for food items up in the search bar. You can type in whatever um, you'd like. You can also use the barcode scanner to scan a barcode. Um, so once you find the food that you want to input, say it's chicken breast, um, you can select your serving size. Um, try not to select a small, medium or large because again, everybody's judgment of small, medium, and large is different. I do try and use ounces and weighing it once it's cooked, but completely up to you on what you decide as your portion size. So I like to go ounces, say I had 4.7 ounces, and then I literally click add to diary. Now it's gonna show me my protein and fat content from that. You can add in any other food. So let's just pretend I had lettuce and I had three other leaves of it. Just add in a couple things here for you. And let's just say we had tomatoes. So chicken, lettuce, and tomatoes. And you can see how it's now increased all of our values. The other thing that you can do on this screen is you can actually click right on where it says protein. And it will show you your highest amount of protein items for the day. And so if you're wondering what foods that you eat that have more protein, you can see it here. Um, you can scroll over to see carbohydrates and scroll over to see fat. Um, you can also just collect directly on carbohydrates or fat and you can see what your higher sources are for that day. The other thing that you can also do is under settings, if you want to have it so that everything is kind of um, set up uh, for your, like your diary settings for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's kind of how you like to do it, you click on diary settings um, and you go under, oops, that's not it groups diary sorry and under diary groups you can name your groups whatever you want so breakfast lunch dinner and snacks is what I've got here um, and we want to show that so if I go back to my diary now you'll see breakfast lunch and dinner and you should be able to um, move items underneath each heading um, if you scroll it to one side you can delete an item if you scroll it to the other side you can copy it show nutrition summary or delete it um, up in the top uh, right right hand corner, there's a dot, dot, dot. If you click the dot, 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 you can multi-select. So for example, say you wanna select a bunch of items. And if you click the dot, dot, dot one more time, you can either create it into a recipe or you can copy it. And if you copy it, you can actually paste it on another day. So let's just show you an example of that, copy it. And I'm gonna have the same thing tomorrow and I'm gonna put it under breakfast, add, yeah. Oops, my bad. Sorry, guys. Dot, 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 paste, and there we are. So you can see that I've copied and pasted it to the following day. If I go back, you can see it's back here. Um, the other things that you can do is you can create your own recipes. Um, so any recipes that I've created, you can see them all here. Um, you can also create your own custom food items. Um, so this is if, say, you scan a barcode and it doesn't come up, um, you can input it and inputting something that doesn't come up is very easy. You literally scan it and then you take a picture of it, you take a picture of the front and the nutrition information and it inputs it for you. 
that's kind of the basics. You can also scroll over again and you can see all of your um, main nutrients and kind of what uh, vitamins and minerals that you are getting. So you can always um, target your supplementation based on what vitamins, minerals, and um, fiber sources that you're getting on a regular basis. But like I said, I usually like to leave it open on this screen. When you close it and then you reopen it, it should just come back to the screen. If you hate the breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner ideas here, you can again go under general diary settings and you can just turn those off. You don't have to have them on. It's completely up to you on how you like to look at your diary. Um, hopefully you find that as a really helpful tip for getting your quick run through. Have an amazing day.